Coach Angela here. We are gonna get started with some TRX and roll it. And so we got my foam roller, got our TRX, and we've got our girls. So if you don't have enough foam rollers, you can definitely modify without the roller. Um, but it is really important that we're using these and we're, that we're educating the girls on what a great recovery tool it is. So we tied it into the workout for a little bit of fun, but then make sure you leave enough time to review it as a recovery exercise. So ask your girls to bring theirs if they don't have them. Also great ideas to partner up with a physical therapist or a massage therapist. Most of them have extra foam rollers and they'll actually come into a clinic for you so you could bargain, say, hey, let us use your foam rollers and you can do a 30 minute clinic after with our girls. So that's also a great way to partner up. So we're gonna start off, we're in groups of two. I gave you the option for groups of three um, if you need it, if you don't have enough equipment or your group is too big. So keep that in mind. If you have groups of three, that's fine. It just means that two groups or one group will end up running the 200 meters, um, oh, the 400 meters two times, which is fine. No big deal. We're kind of girls, we can do that. So first group sets off, they're gonna do a 400 meter run or a 200 meter walk for balance or strength while you're gonna be reviewing squats and bicep curls on the TRX. So just these two exercises, review squats and then bicep curls, triceps up on that shelf. By the time you've reviewed, hopefully group two is back, we switch off, you then review squats and bicep curls with the new group. Then we switch off again, we've got tricep extensions. So in that nice, strong plank, drop the hands back behind the head, exhale, extend. And then forward lunges, 15, just dropping that back knee down to the ground. Obviously, if you're not getting 15 reps, don't sweat it uh, because it's probably going to be a quicker transition. Um, and then we have the option for golf swings, just if you need a little bit of time or you want to add that in. So round one, we've got three minutes each set. So the counter is actually going to be on the TRX. So it's kind of like a, a mini A-team or a, a little bit of on the line too. So counter is TRX, partner two is foam roller, partner three is an option, not necessary, but I did give you that option just in case you need it. So partner two is doing 10 bicep curls. So remembering triceps are up on that invisible shelf, we curl in 10 reps. While partner two is on a forearm plank on the foam roller, which is super fun. You would be really surprised at how stable these are. I know they look like they're super rolly, but really they're not. As soon as your forearms are on, extend back in that plank and hold. Cheer on your partner. You switch on and off for three minutes. Partner three, option here, hacky sacks, okay? Then we're gonna go to the second set of exercises. Partner one is doing tricep extensions. We already did those for warm up, 10 reps. Partner two is going to be doing high plank. Again, stable base here, find it, extend one leg, and then the other high plank. Always an option to be on those knees. And then partner three is doing squat thrust, either stepping or jumping back. Add that push up because this is not a squat thrust light. Big clap at the top. Round four, we've got alligators, which are my favorite. My nieces call these outer gators, so that's what I always want to say. One hand over the other, exhale, open up, come back, slow control, no momentum, switch and open. One is one. We're going to be doing Saxon bins overhead. So we've got arms overhead with our um, foam roller, feet together to make it harder, drop, make sure you're using the opposite oblique, exhale, pull up, inhale, exhale, pull up. Partner three is doing mountain climbers. Again, optional. Foot outside the hand, step, or hop. And we have TRX pull-ups. So we're gonna fully shorten up that band. It's been at mid-length this whole time. Fully shortening up. Drop the hips back super far. Almost like we're gonna do an overhead back extension. Exhale and pull, squeeze those elbows together. Drop back behind, exhale, pull. While partner two is doing rollouts, which are super fun, kind of like an ab roller, but I just want to caution you, make sure your girls are on their knees. Um, that's how you demo it. That's how you cue it. Just because it's just a little bit different than what we're used to because we don't have ab rollers in our gym. So we're here, come back. So I'm not going super close to my body and I'm not super far out. My wrists are in front of my shoulders. I roll to those forearms. I exhale, pull back. So that is too challenging for some of your girls. Have them walk out and walk back because that is a tough move, okay? And then jacks for partner three. So we've done three minutes each set. That's 12 minutes in a round. We're gonna rest, get ready, 
for the next. So we just did all upper body. We're gonna do lower. Partner one has 10 squat hops. We have length, hopefully. We're, uh, we are all familiar with our squat hops here. Drop the hips, big exhale up, or up on those tippy toes. Foam roller is going to be doing roller rollouts, not to be confused with rollouts. I realized that after I just read that, like, oh, that could be slightly confusing. So my apologies. <laughs> since we're doing lower body, it made total sense in my head when I wrote that. So again, challenging move here, but really super fun. So we're gonna roll out, just like we would on a big old uh, yoga ball. This is a really great hamstring work here. And then roll up, roll out, and roll up. Hips stay up the whole time. So it's just like a hamstring curl that we do in the T-Rex, but a little bit more challenging. Partner three has roped up option. Then next round, thigh busters, either a step or a big jump, scissor lunge. Uh, we're gonna be doing bridge dips with those heels on the roller. Just adding a little bit of instability here. Again, you could do this on a block or a box if you want. So heels up, lift and lower. Partner three is doing fast feet. Uh, next round, partner one, forward lunge, 10 reps. Partner two on the roller, doing good mornings. So having that, that foam roller back behind, nice flat back, come up to standing, nice and controlled, and then running man partner three. In and out squats for our last round of lower body. You can step, or we're gonna go in and out. And roller is doing overhead calf raises. Thought you, you thought I was gonna do something crazy like you had to stand on this, didn't you? No, not, not that crazy just yet. <laughs> so we're gonna come to standing. Always an option to have them stand on a box that their heels are hanging off of, and exhale up overhead. Partner three, doing crazy jacks. Okay, last round, we're gonna be doing core so we have straddle plank 10 reps that means feet in the straps and are just a little bit high right now it's so always having the hanging strap midway down the shin when we're going to be on our bellies transition over and we're going to open in a jack straddle open and close partner two is doing roller plank rainbows on your forearms again we've been here before so they should be pretty familiar with it we're going to drop Pike, drop, pike. And partner three is doing alligator push-ups. Again, one of my personal favorites. We're going to step in, right hand, left foot, look over left shoulder, step, right hand, right foot, look over that shoulder. So you're moving like a lizard here. Okay, that's what it looks like, traveling across the floor. Plank crunches in our TRX, 10 reps. This one is fine to go a little bit slower on transition because they are going to be working that core and it is going to be intense. So here, plank crunches, 10 reps. Partner two, doing left leg fire hydrants. So we're going to be here, left leg, lift out and open. And partner three is going to be doing Spider-Man's. Plank, plank pike, so feet again in the TRX. We're going to be lifting the hips up and back. Option for down dog to plank if you need. Right leg on the fire hydrant. Partner three, option for arch ups. And then last but not least, stir the pot. We're gonna have feet in. Again, another one of my personal favorites. In case you can't tell, they're all kind of my personal favorites. I'm gonna try to get into the screen for you here. So, start in plank, lift as those toes come in, back to plank. Lift, pike, back to plank. Make sure their shoulders aren't doing the work that is their core. Then, we have roller V-ups. Here, arms overhead, exhale, tap. Exhale, tap, okay? Always an option for one leg at a time if needed. And then partner three is doing penguins. So we're gonna do our cool down. Like I said, this is the important part. So if you don't have enough foam rollers, um, I give you the option to partner up and have one on the TRX and one on the foam roller. But give them a chance for everybody to get on it even for a few seconds uh, so they can really feel what it feels like and make sure they get one of their own. So we'll start with upper back. Uh, rolls so making sure when we start that this foam roller never goes down to their low back start at the base of the rib cage and that's going to be our finish line so we're never going to go beyond that so hands come up to support the neck if you're wearing a hoodie or have a ponytail make sure they're holding it so that way there's no catching of the hair roll up and down this is my favorite stretch i do this every single day since i'm at a desk all day that's what i do at the end of my day 
upper back rolls. Then we're gonna do boot rolls. I'll go through foam roller first and then I'll review on the TRX super quick. So this is two-sided. So I'm gonna rock onto that right side. I'm gonna cross that right leg over to my left knee and then I roll back and forth. And I can really control where I'm getting the most uh, work here just by rocking more onto one side. Then we'll do the second side, making sure we get both glutes. Then we've got IT band rolls, which if you've got a lot of runners or you're training for a try or a run, then IT band on the foam roller is a must that every single one of your runners should be doing because your IT band gets super tight as we run. Uh, doing a lot of exercises in general will get the IT band, but most runners really experience a lot of pain with it. So we start under the base of uh, your hip bone. We're going to have a straight leg. Use your forearm and your top leg as kind of a, a support system to roll you forward and back. So you're never gonna go beyond that knee. So we stop right at that knee, roll up and down. And this, I cannot lie, is quite excruciating for people who've never done it before. And the harder the foam roller, the more excruciating it will be. The softer, the better. I actually use a PVC pipe because I'm so um, used to foam rolling. So if something this hard doesn't really do anything for me. I need like that solid plastic. Uh, but make sure you caution girls who are just getting into this. Go soft and gradually upgrade. IT band on each side. And then we're gonna do calf hamstring. So we've got our calf here. Lift your hips, roll up and back. Nice calf massage, point those toes out, point them in. And then for hamstrings, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna roll to our glutes, and then back to the base of the knees. So roll up and back. They can really give themselves a little bit more work here if they want by crossing the leg. That'll give them a little bit more um, body weight. And then you could do the same thing for quad stretch. I didn't have this on here, but we're here. We're gonna rock back and forth. Again, this doesn't really do anything for me because this isn't very hard, but um, option to always go one side more than the other, okay? And then TRX back extension. We're here in that nice back extension. Drop the hips, bend one leg, look under, come to center, bend the other. Uh, forward fold IT band stretches. So we're just gonna cross leg here, walk it over, switch, cross leg, walk it over. And then TRX pigeon is tucking that one leg and then reaching forward with the band to fold, come back through center, second side. 